What do you think about that? How's it going? We're going to do another update of the drift trike build. As you can see behind me, we did swap the engine out. We put a Hemi 212 in it. It's basically not modified, but we're going to show you what I did with it and some other things we did. And then we're going to go take it for a spin and see how it does. Okay. Right off the bat, you can see a few things here. Uh, one of which is being, oh look, I finally put a chain guard on it. So all you can stop whining about it. I know safety is important, so I appreciate all of you looking out for me though, seriously. Uh, it's just made out of aluminum, and then it's got a strap that goes over the top. It is uh, attached to steel tabs down below there. We opted to take off the stage four Predator 212 build non-hemi, primarily due in part because that engine is so insane. It belongs on a go-kart or something else worthy of that power and it just so happened our local harbor freight had the hemi predator in stock i've never played with one never had one so i figured for a stock engine they're supposed to be pretty good power wise and all that nonsense so um, we're gonna try it out and see how it goes i also just like the looks of the valve cover much better we had to ghetto rig the throttle linkage here um, something similar to what we had going on with the top plate we actually had to steal the linkage section from the top plate and we're using our same compression fittings one thing you'll see on the side of the air box is a drain fitting from lowe's hardware store and it's just really ghettoly super glued to the side of the box i expect it to fall off within probably the first 20 minutes of riding it we're gonna actually see if this makes a difference we did put oil in the engine we're leaving it governed we're leaving the oil sensor in it Everything like that stock. The only thing that we did to it really is the pipe and our ram air setup. So all we need to do is put gas in it and obviously get it off the welding table, stick it outside and see how it runs. So we will see you out there. Remember, think safety. And we have gas, not the Taco Bell kind, this kind of gas.
the drift sleeve on the right hand side here is clearly coming off uh, and then it's really wavy and bulgy it's actually quite hot right now I'm thinking that the tire has been spinning inside of the sleeve not really sure on that the left one seems fine not surprising but we'll have to look into some better tires and sleeves for this thing laugh at it all you want but the uh, ram air tube going into the air box i think worked incredibly well um, i can actually set my hand on it right now and i can feel that it's like cooled not like refrigerator cool so i think that is in fact helping so if you have a hemi predator and you just want to add a little bit of extra air to the system uh, this is just a four inch inch and a half drain pipe fitting and it comes just like that You don't have to cut it. The exhaust is incredibly loud. I feel like the exhaust is louder on this Hemi engine Than it was on the non Hemi Predator that was ported and decked out to the max. So Not quite sure why that is but it sounds amazingly cool. I am incredibly happy with this I'm so glad we put the Hemi on it. It just made it that much more fun to ride it doesn't need a lot of power. All in all, I'm really happy with the build. It turned out really cool. Uh, my girlfriend's super happy, as you saw in the video. She's spinning circles with it, picked up how to drift it, I'd say in what, five minutes or something. So she did really well on that. Kudos to her. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so if you want to. If you don't, that's cool too. But um, if you do subscribe, please be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you get all of the notifications on my latest videos. Go to Instagram, check out my page. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.